There we go. So, let's write Zelda 1. I have never played this. Maybe, like, I've moved around the map a little bit, but I don't know where anything is. Um, kind of in the same spirit as my Symphony of the, in Symphony of the Night playthrough. I think some blind let's plays is something I want to start doing more on this channel. Um, so, anyways, I figure Zelda games are the perfect way to go. I'm going to start with this one. I'll probably do Zelda 2 and then get to Wind Waker and Twilight Princess eventually. None of those have I really ever played. Zelda 2 is probably the one I've played the most of. We're going to go with the classic because that's how I roll. So, name the file paint. Oh, yes, no SRL. Good call. I think I'm on. I think I was on auto detect, but I'll just make sure. I can't remember if I was on always or auto detect. My Nintendo Network ID, I think, is just until he's 58. So, yeah, feel free to add on that. But let's go. Ooh. It's dangerous to go alone. That's all I know about this game. Is that it's dangerous to go alone. Oh yeah, and you get the thing from the start. What could go wrong? I'm not listening to you guys, you jokers. So I hadn't played any Zelda game for a long time. And then I played Link Between Worlds on 3DS, which I really loved. Like, I thought it was really good. So, it kind of excited me to get back into some of these. Let's see. So we can get a key, a big shield, or a candle. I do not want to buy something. start doing randomizer <laughs> I'm a long way from randomizer I think ooh a bomb now the thing I know about this game is that you can like bomb anything like they're just random places that need bombed hey do a thing come on Volt Arcade. See, the thing about Ra Zelda Randomizer is, as far as I'm concerned, this basically is Zelda Randomizer. Because I don't know where anything is. Like, I don't even know where the caves are. Or the dungeons. I know there's nine of them. Okay, we're dead. Almost certainly dead. Okay, continue. Got my sword and my bomb still. Okay, so it's not completely merciless. Is there something to bomb here? It looks like a place where something could be. What about here? No? I know the first dungeon is somewhere over here. The very little I know. Also, shout out to Nomex again for the layout. Oh, I think it's this way. This looks familiar. Yes. And that's all I know. Keys. Key. Key. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did see that the manual... I heard about that, that there was like an instruction booklet in the manual. Or a map in the manual. <laughs> an instruction booklet in the manual. That's nonsensical. Heart? Should I bomb these walls? I don't know if I should really be bombing these walls. So is that the boss room? What the compass? Bomb the skeletons and the bats? Well, I don't have any bombs anymore. Rip. Classic puzzles were born early, I suppose. <laughs> Eastmost peninsula is the secret. Okay, I don't want to hurt him. Uh, yeah, sure, you can answer the question about this, the, the compass. There's the map. Uh-oh. Please ask for help in level 7. Okay. If I get there. This game, I'm much more worried about my ability to actually complete than, say, uh... Oh, there's the key. Like, Sym Symphony of the Night. Like, Symphony of the Night at least helps kind of... It's I mean, it's open-ended, but it at least kind of teaches you the game as you go. Like, this game is pretty merciless from what I know. The room the Triforce Shard is in. Okay, so the boss is going to be likely right before that. Hello. Ooh, the bow. I want that. How do I move this? How do I... Oh, interesting. So, that's where I've been in the dungeon. Yeah, definitely. Basic control questions like that, I'm happy to have answered. find another key. go buy one for the hundred rupees, but it would take me forever to get that many rupees. Oh, 
Well, not at that rate. Okay, full hearts. Need arrows first. Rupees are arrows. For all practical purposes. Thanks, Alec. I suspected arrows was a thing. What's up, Kanata? Yo, thanks. Cool, Mew. Well, I will see you later. I hope that I can help alleviate your boredom. Henceforth. Okay, I didn't... That's right, I didn't go in this room. There we go. Oh, really? Did you, Was it your first playthrough also? So don't blow rupees on keys. Oh, I see. They literally are your arrows. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely one of the games I've been wanting to play for quite a while. Because it's such a... Like a classic. Like an all-time game. Alright, almost done with Dungeon 1 like to keep all my health for the boss if I can. I expect that after this I'll do Zelda 2. Well, probably not immediately thereafter, but shortly thereafter. Okay, so much for that. Okay, I don't like you. Give me a heart. It's probably a bad move, but I want a heart. No, no! Okay, so they do what they do in the other games. And they bring back these guys. Boomerang is helpful, though. Dude, Boomerang is super awesome. It was never this good in other Zeldas. That's like, that's the best weapon I've ever seen. Okay, got some health. So I guess fighting those Skeletors worked out, or not Skeletors, the hands, what are they called? I know what they're called. They kill the bats too? What is this weapon? Boomerang. Oh, good. Thank you, Bosk. Yeah, that was that's the one I was telling you about today, Nam. Yeah, the instructions are in the first review, for because it's all in Japanese, which I had to re reference again when I got my new computer, which seems to be working very nicely for streaming. So I'm very pleased. I'm not even gonna mess with these dudes. Well, maybe I will. Nah, they're jerks. So, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to you. I'll be done soon. Which is this one? 
Oh, really? Awesome. So if you game over, it looks like you pretty much get to keep everything. You just sort of start back at the dungeon or the, uh, like, the save or the new game spot. So that's good. That I was worried about that. It's a pretty... It's a pretty forgiving game over mechanic. Sorry, I'm like killing everything because I want to make sure I have I don't run out of rupees. Avermedia does typically higher end capture cards though, don't they? I know that Vulagen in particular says that GV USB 2 is his favorite capture card. And it seemed like it was pretty good tonight. Um, I don't know what you guys thought about the quality. But I didn't have any complaints, so hopefully that is good. And I was talking about the quality too. Yeah, Moblins. Very. I don't need her. Okay, so looks like the easiest thing for me to do here is this. Uh oh, fourth heart. He didn't grab it. Triforce Peaks! Yeah! Sweet. Alright, let me... Now that I got this boomerang, I'm a lot less worried about this game. So I think I have already progressed farther than I ever did. Like, I had... The, when I tried playing this game as a kid, I don't know that I successfully made it through any dungeon. So my memory of it is... When I say blind, like, I really don't know what's going on. Ooh, desert. I'm almost done for the night. I just want to explore a little bit more. It's not that big a map, though, I'm kind of noticing, which I suppose doesn't surprise me, but it just felt so much more massive when I first tried playing it. Oh, that's an interesting touch. They stop moving their legs when you... Oh, no, they just freeze in whatever state they're in. Neat that the boomerang curves back to you wherever you are. These NES high-tech things. Okay. Arrows, shield, bombs. Bombs, I think I would like. Nice, Kanata. Zelda 2 was one I played probably a bit more of. I got probably got about halfway through it as a kid. But uh, not really like a super young kid, maybe like 13. But um, got stuck. So I'm actually pretty excited to play Zelda 2 again. So I'm probably going to go from this into Mega Man Unlimited. Try to get in touch with Legaibo. Because I know he's been wanting me to do that for a while. and then get to Zelda 2. cow. It's amazing how quickly the enemies can just end you in this. Oh, 
I want that heart. How do I get that heart? Oh, I think there's a raft item. So this game has hearts hidden on the overworld, too. Did not know that. Okay, this is trouble, guys. Get the heart! No, I got the heart! All right. Well, this seems like a good enough time to end. So, thank you, guys. <clears throat> Glad to be back streaming. Glad to be back with all of you. I missed you guys, but uh, here we are. So that's the first bit of Zelda 1. I already really liked that a lot. That was really fun. Um, and I think it'll go faster than I thought it would, hopefully. But...